booktube i'm kate and this is my channel chapter kate right now i'm waiting on my friend chris to get here so we can go into the peace center which is behind me it's very noisy because of all the fountains but there's like a lot of pretty stuff around here so i'm really excited for him to get here and also i brought him chick-fil-a so it's getting cold so Okay, so Chris is here. Say hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. He's eating an apple. And he, we did eat our Chick-fil-A. It was cold, but it was great. We just sat in a session panel thing called Fake ID Discovering Your True Selves. And it had um, Becky Albertalli, Danielle Clayton. I can't say words. Becky Albertalli, Danielle Clayton, Lauren Gibaldi, and Nick Stone. So that was awesome. Um, and then afterwards I bought The Bells by Daniel Clayton because I didn't know it was fantasy and now I have to have it and it's great. But it was all about like gender stuff and sexuality stuff and also the fact that not every orientation has to have sex in it. And there are people all around and I want Chris to be in the camera. And then this lady took our picture. Yeah. Um, we looked good. We did. We were, we were pretty great. And um, I made mistakes and bought more books. So I said I was going to stop doing that by the end of the year. Hi Chris. <laughs> this is disappointed look and I didn't so I spent 60 bucks and then I bought another one that was like 19 <laughs> oops but they got signed well one of them is I'm gonna get the other signed at some point yeah and I took a picture of Chris with 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 Nick Stone so I'll put yes. a picture of that on here because it was a real good picture so that's all we're gonna we're waiting for some session called the process that Marissa Meyer is going to be in with several other awesome folks. And then, yeah. But there's like no video allowed in, in the panels so far. So, I'm a rule follower. I saw, I saw a guy breaking the rules. We're not snitches though. We're not. So, that'll happen. <laughs> Okay, this is in my face. We're gonna, how to, nope, that's closer. All right, so what we're gonna do is just hi. So we've gone to like several panels and it's been really cool. Um, I got to meet Jessica Leek, who's very local and she is awesome. And I told her that I'm sorry that I've tweeted at her like a million times. And I was very excited. And we met, here we go, Mary Wynn Heider. She's hilarious. So she, she talked about her job working in a cadaver lab and that she's a method author <laughs> and it was, it was really funny because every time she was talking about like dead bodies she'd get really quiet like dead bodies, 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 <laughs> but the bodies yeah. before. and then I met um, Ashley Poston um, who wrote Heart of Iron and she complimented my eyeshadow which made me very excited I was so happy about it I feel sparkly so right now we're going we're doing a panel called like something about coping, coping in crisis yes something like that and so I'm pretty excited because maybe I can ask a question I'm scared. It's very loud because of the music. I don't know if you're hearing any of this. <laughs> I'll subtitle it or closed caption it. Which reminds me, I have a closed caption on my most recent upload because I suck. I'll do that also. But yes, we're gonna sign out now because it's so loud. Okay, bye. Oh. There's Nick Stone. It was Nick Stone. <laughs> <laughs> so we are finished for the day. We didn't, we didn't get tickets for the keynote with Marissa Meyer. That's fine. But we got autographs. So. We got so many autographs. And we got to talk to um, Nick Stone like several times. Yeah. I told her she looked like a mermaid. She does. She has like a cool sequiny skirt on and she's just a magical human. So that, yeah. So there's that. I don't know what now. Oh, she went that way. Kind of want to like, no, I'm not a stalker. I'm not a stalker. We're not going to track her. Anyway, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> we need to go that way quickly. There's Marissa Meyer. <laughs> in a flowery dress. I didn't get my camera out in time. Oh no, it's Chris's fault. Chris's lighting is just doing wonders for you. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> All right.
right, so I am home from the Read Up Greenville Book Festival thingamabob, and it was awesome. Um, I just wanted to do a little quick wrap up about, you know, what I did while I was there, things that happened, all that cool stuff, because the vlogs were very sporadic and all over the place, and I was like jumping around, and there were people everywhere, so I couldn't really think straight. So, Let's just do a quick wrap up of that. We didn't get tickets for the keynote speeches. There was one before and after, and we didn't really go to those. I just went to, um, we went to four or five panels. Let's see. We went to one, two, three, four. We went to four panels, and then we went to several of the signing sessions where they were signing books and stuff like that. Um, and it was really cool. The first panel we went to was called, I'm going to be reading off of this, Fake ID, Discovering Our True Selves. And this was all about like identity and the way that that's changed in you know society and books, the way people talk about identity um, and how a lot of identities are kind of associated with sexuality and things like that and how it doesn't always have to involve sex when you're talking about your identities and things like that. Um, but the people that were on the um, panel were um, Becky Albertalli, um, Danielle Clayton, Lauren Gibaldi, and Nick Stone. Adam Silvera was supposed to be there, but he didn't. He got sick or something, and it was very unfortunate. Um, and then it was moderated by Jesse Hilb. And I hope I said everybody's names right, but it was really cool. Um, it was a really great session. Um, uh, I discovered Danielle Clayton's. I didn't know that. I, I heard a lot of people talk about bell, the Bells. But I, I thought it was like, a, it looked like a contemporary to me because when I see a photo of someone, I automatically think it's like a contemporary or a romance book. Um, but then when I realized that it was a fantasy book, I got really, really excited about it. And as she talked about the premise of it, it just sounded really, really cool. And um, so I ended up picking this book up and she signed it, which was so cool. I got it signed. I'm very, very excited to read it. Um, but it's going on my fantasy shelf as if I had any room on my fantasy shelf. And then Nick Stone was absolutely amazing. Chris really wanted to see Nick Stone because he loves um, Dear Martin and all that good stuff. And it was so, it was just really great. They were all really funny. They had really great points to make. It could have gone on forever. Um, it was just a really, very conversational, well flowing panel. It was great. And then the second panel I went to was called The Process. And it was all about like the writing process. So it had a handful of well known authors or published authors. And then it had these three. Um, kids that were published, kids and teenagers that were published. It was really cool to see like two sides of that. Um, so the the moderator was Adrian Burris. The student authors, oh, it doesn't have the names of the student authors on here. That's sad. They're really cool. Um, the authors that were present were Mary Wynn Hyder, who was absolutely hilarious. She kept making like anatomy puns, and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, McCall Hoyle, Tiffany Jackson, Marissa Meyer, and Scott Rent Rentgen? Rentgen? I can't say his name. It's very R E I N T G E N. Rentgen? Rentgen? I can't say it. I don't remember what they said, how they said it was pronounced. It's been a long day. I'm very sorry. I will figure it out. Okay, so Tiffany Jackson's really cool, by the way. Um, I know she's like a film person as well. That was really cool. I don't know. It was cool. They had a lot of good questions. The student authors had, were really well spoken. Um, for kids, it was crazy. Um, Marissa Meyer was talking about her own writing space and how her husband's like a contractor and he built her like this little fairy tale cottage to write in, and they're all like, what? It was, it was really cool. And then um, Mary Wynn Hyder kept talking about her book, which is like, all about he's it's all about like bodies and she was talking about how she they were kind of calling her a method author because she worked in a cadaver lab as a receptionist and she was like get you a job in a place where people don't visit that often and then you can write on the job and she said that one time that she was distracted at work probably because she was writing her book and she accidentally ordered like seven six hundred legs or something because they would order parts because it was like for a school or something like a surgery school or something and it was a whole, it was just really, she was hilarious. But every time she would talk about dead bodies, she'd be like, yeah, that's when I was working with the dead bodies. And she'd like get really quiet when she would talk about it. It was just funny. Um, so I didn't end up getting her book, but I'm going to because she was just, she was so funny and so cool. So I'll probably eventually get her book. I just didn't get it today because I was trying to limit my spending a little bit. Um, but Chris got her book and got it signed. So lucky him. And I talked to her for a little while. She's cool. And then the next panel I went to, let's see. Oh. I also got Marissa Meyer's signature on these two books after that panel. So I got her signature to sign Wires and Nerve. Da, 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 which is really cool. And if you're wondering, like they signed these as my full name, which is Caitlin. So uh, but that's 
got signed and then let's see and then she signed right here on renegades so that was really awesome that was that was her line was really long so um she also gave one of the keynote speeches so and then the next panel i went to was who lives who dies who tells your story little hamilton quote 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 <laughs> the crossroads of historical fiction and fantasy and this was moderated by jessica curry authors were danielle clayton who's wrote the bells jessica leek who's a local author who lives right here and she wrote beyond a darkened shore which i loved it's a big cool, it's a cool crossover between like norse and irish mythology and she signed this and she signed a a bookmark which is very very exciting so that was cool that was really cool and um she also um let's see who else was on here Makia Lucier and Megan Shepard. Um, and that was a really cool panel. They talked all about like how they incorporated different points of history into their their works and how they, you know, changed some things that happened and brought current sort of issues and topics into their writing, even though it was based in historical fiction or based in um, other sources. And that was really, really cool. Then I also got Ashley Poston, who wrote Heart of Iron. I didn't go to any of her sessions, but I got her to sign this book because I've been wanting it for a really long time and she complimented my makeup and it made me feel really happy <laughs> because I made my eye makeup super extra today because when I wear these glasses you just it has to be extra or you can't see it and she also drew like this on one page and I'm not sure what happens on the page so I'm excited and she can be like this holographic looking card it's really really cool I guess this is one of the characters I'm very excited about it that's all the books I got signed. Um, the next and last panel that I went to was Navigating the Storm, Crisis and Coping. And it was um, authors of books that all kind of dealt with someone in a very traumatic situation. I really hoped that they would talk more about that, about that, you know, actual crisis and stuff. Like that, they talked a lot about um, the process and sort of the places that they pulled from, which was, it was amazing. It was really cool the way that they talked about it. But it was moderated by Kathleen Birkinshaw. The authors were Alan Gatz, McCall Hoyle, and... Tiffany Jackson and Makia Lucier. So, um, I got to see McCall Hoyle, Tiffany Jackson, and Makia Lucier several times. That was awesome. Um, but it was really cool. They all talked about their books, which were all kind of in really tense situations. Their books all talked about really tense situations like, you know, refugees from war, um, uh, victims of systematic racism, someone in a fantasy land that's trying to get by, um, things like that it was it was a lot of cool just it was interesting it was and one of the books was also about you know someone in a hurricane you know very relevant to my area and people closer to the coast and all that good stuff but um it was really cool and i like the way that they talked about their sort of source material um tiffany jackson who wrote um monday's not coming was really interesting to see where she sort of got her stories from and she talked to people that were sort of victims of you know all these terrible things but she was talking about how she was listening to these women's stories these girls all theirs of all these things that they'd been through and how it was you know it was she was trying to hold herself together just to kind of get through the stories and to present them you know um because all the those stories do need to be told and it was just really cool um, but that's all we saw and all the panels we went to and we had a lot of fun and it was it was cool Leave me a comment below about some favorite like book festival if you've been to one some favorite uh, Happenings or favorite stories from those that you have from your past and things like that So or some festivals that you're excited to go to if you're going to y'all fest That's in my state. I probably won't be there because we're gonna be getting back from Canada, but That's cool, too and if you would like more of this joke, subscribe below. Bye. Dripping over shadows and I'm drowning in the night. I feel the soldiers coming. I'm done pulling up a fight.